Hey everybody, it's Jordan with PDQ.com. Uh, about a week ago, Lex asked in a video if anyone had any uh, content that they'd like to see or that we could produce, and uh, Patrick came through with a question. Uh, this one we got answered. Now we've got a couple of great ones that I'm researching, but the first one we're going with is from Patrick. Basically, he says, can I update after my image using just deploy and not inventory? Uh, the answer is yes, but it's a little bit more complex, so I'm going to show just kind of the versatility you get with inventory and then how you can make it work without. Uh, basically, the, the biggest problem you have is how do you target only machines that have recently been imaged and how do you target them specifically? So let's say you have a gold image for HRIT just because the software could be different. You don't want to rebuild the gold image, so you just want the software to update after. So how do you find those machines and use deploy to update those uh, without having to go through and do it manually just to automate the process? And the way we found is during the image, if you throw a file it there, just call it whatever HR or IT. Just throw that into the uh, drive wherever you want because you we're going to delete it when we're done. Then you can have a file scanner and inventory. You can have a collection of each new machine, what department they're in, and you have a better tracking of uh, <clears throat> what they're done and, and, and uh, you can get reports once it's finished and see everything that's been done. So in this case, we have Granny this new, this is in HR. Uh, with ours, we, we did that based on the text document we were talking about. You send to that one, it's going to go through, it's going to update everything, it's going to move Granny out of a default OU if you want into a specific OU that is uh, for HR. If you don't want to do that beforehand, you can just do it with the, uh, with the file itself. That's how it works with inventory. If you want to use it to deploy, a, a lot of it is similar. And we're going to just go over to deploy here. A lot of the steps are similar. It's just tracking is more difficult. Uh, with inventory, we can scan for that file. We have everything deploying to that based on the file. Without inventory, you, you can deploy out there, but unless you want to deploy to every machine and limit those only to those files, you're, you're going to hit too much. Uh, the best way that I found to do this is basically it's going to go into, once it's, the image will put it into a staging OU. Uh, you can still have the file in there. We're going to use that uh, for other information after, but just goes into a unit basically just imaged and then you have the, we'll say image update here. We're installing FileZilla, Chrome, Notepad, just a couple of others. The last one is the move OU that we're talking about. So it's gonna go in, we're gonna build a schedule. All schedules, new, and the target is, we're gonna go Active Directory and I, we'll just pretend that says uh, organizational units, not container. That's just a personal thing for me, it doesn't matter. And you're just gonna come in, you're gonna point it to whichever, say we'll say HR is the staging one. It's going to cons consistently run against this OU now. Look for any machines in there. The problem is it's going to keep on trying to run against those machines when that's not necessary. So what we're going to do is after the staging, at the end, we're going to move the OU. This comes with a few complications with, with that one of where do we move it to, how do we find out, and how do you run a command in PowerShell to move into an actual Active Directory from there. Uh, so the way we're going to do that, we're going to open up our package here. I've included some extra files with the PowerShell itself. And you can see it is everything needed to run the Active Directory uh, commandless in PowerShell. And the way you get those, we'll cancel this out, we'll just go to the PowerShell itself, is after you install the RSAT tools that give you those commandlets, if you copy the System32 Windows PowerShell modules Active Directory, you want to copy that. And then you also want to go to Windows WinSXX, Win SXS, sorry about that. And there's two files in there of Active, Active Directory management.resources. And it looks like I copied the same one twice, but let's go find out what that other file is before we move forward. So we're not, uh, one with one says resources, one does not. We just want to grab both of those DLLs. If you include all of those in your deployment, you can run without issue the Active Directory commandlets. And then from there, we're coming in, we're importing the module, we're pointing to just right the little folder we're in since we're copying the files there. And we're basically looking for the uh, file we're talking about, the temp.txt or whatever. If you're not looking for department, just install. You don't need that. And then we're coming in here. <coughs> I did this one based on the file, uh, just like the other one. We're coming in here, basically doing a switch based on the file name. So if it's HR, it's going to come in here and is going to move it to the proper OU and it's going to delete the file. And that's this is the last step of the package uh, that we showed earlier. So it's going to come in here. It's going to install. Everything in that OU that you saw there, all the software is going to update everything you need there. Then the last part it's going to do is the PowerShell. It's going to go in, find the file, move it to the proper OU, and delete the file off the system so it's not hanging around. 
uh, with those two things, next time the schedule kicks off, there's not going to be anything or anything in there is going to be new and appropriate. And that's the kind of way to track it. You just, you miss the reporting. You miss the the visual cues that you can see everything working. You're just kind of running on faith there. But with enough finagling, you can make that for work, work that for it. You can make that work for you. Uh, for PDQ.com, I'm Jordan.